When you concentrate, you bring blood to an area. That means more neurons grow. So things like gray matter, which just means a lot of neurons, means that um, A, it has a really good effect on longevity because the reason people get old is it gets thinner and thinner because they fall into their habits. Not Alzheimer's, that's a disease, but you know, dementia. So you're re it's really that, that neural um, thickening is like getting a six pack. So even if you do it for a few days, it's already got an impact. The problem is if you let it go like your stomach, it turns back into flab. So even if you did it one minute, it's like when you notice yourself burning out, and that's the hardest time to catch it, when I'm up all night doing my email and I start to get that adrenaline, because I can taste it, it tastes like you're on coke. Not that I've ever tried it. But <laughs> you get that thing and it gets real fun to start speeding, you know, whatever. That's the moment where you gotta go. <sighs> because you're probably not making sense anymore, you know. There's a moment where you're tipping. And you got, we got to start learning to come back because no matter how many triathlons you run, there'll be a day where you'll have to hang up your gym shoes, metaphorically. And so we got to get ready to be able to deal with, you know, when life changes. And mindfulness is a, like building a house, you know, that'll kind of protect you when things start to switch out of your control. Because you'll always have that. You'll always have, like, that thing you are that's behind the mask. You know, not the thing that you have to push or make sexy or get bigger, you know, whatever. There's always that thing that just sits there breathing, and that's who, that's you. And actually, if you feel pretty good in that state, then you feel bad again, then you feel good, then it goes all over the place. But at least you get attuned to what you are. Otherwise, we'll never know. Does that answer your question? So a few minutes, and usually don't, I don't do it sitting. Who's got time? You know, when you're waiting for a bus, Okay, or when you're getting impatient in a queue, just start, either put your feet on the ground, or here's another one. If there's a person in front of you, or you know, and they've got like, whatever, an eyebrow or something, just look at it, just, just look at it. They can't tell, they think you're interested in them. You know, sight is another one, you just look. It's really good in business meetings when somebody's scaring you, is that you'll calm down if you just watch their you know, left nostril. They'll still think you're listening. But, um, but you'll start to cool down rather than going, oh fuck, I'm gonna get fired, Jesus Christ, he hates my gut. Just look at his left nostril and smile. <laughs>